Hi, I'm Michael Landon. And if you have children or grandchildren in grade school, high school, or college, this program could mean more to their future than any television program you'll ever watch. What does this bring back memories? Track was my favorite part of school. I loved it. I loved it because I excelled in it. Unfortunately, track was the only thing I liked about school. Academically, I was a terrible student. I even failed the 10th grade and had to repeat it. What was so frustrating and discouraging was that my bad grades weren't from a lack of trying. You know, I really studied hard. No matter how hard I studied, I just couldn't get good grades. In fact, the harder I studied, the worse it got. And I knew I wasn't stupid. In fact, my scores on intelligence and aptitude tests were high, but I just couldn't get good grades. So my teachers gave up on me and completely wrote me off. Out of a class of 301, I graduated 299. The only way I was able to get into college was with a track scholarship. But once I got there, it only got worse. I really had no idea how to study effectively. Well, chances are you did a lot better in school than I did. But let me ask you something. Did you ever have a problem getting good grades? Can you remember how it felt when the teacher would call on you to answer a question and you had no idea what the answer was? Or the fear you felt when it was your turn to stand in front of the class and give a speech or a report? Or how about the sick feeling you got when you sat down to take a semester exam? Or the panic you'd feel when you'd look up at the clock and see that you only had five more minutes to finish and you weren't even close? And then there were the report cards. Oh, I talk about a sinking feeling, the disappointment, the lectures. How many times did you hear your parents say you're just going to have to study harder and get better grades? But somehow it wasn't that easy. In fact, all the lectures in the world didn't make getting good grades any easier. Well, now you have kids in school, and they can experience the same fears, frustrations, and worries you do. The same disappointments, the horrible feeling of flunking a test or getting a paper full of red marks. The self-doubts, the negative thoughts that they're just not that smart. And what do you do? Well, the temptation is to do the same thing your parents did. Just tell them you're going to have to study harder and get better grades. Well, listen to me. Those are meaningless and, more importantly, powerless words. You might as well point your child at a pile of bricks and say, build me a house. Because unless you give him a specific plan and the right tools to learn more effectively and get better grades, nothing is going to change. Well, for the past three years, my good friend John Ritter has been telling America about an incredible tool. A video seminar that teaches students how to learn more in less time, with less effort and stress, and get better grades. It's called Where There's a Will, There's an A. It was created by Professor Claude Olney of Arizona State University and has literally turned C and D students into A students almost overnight. Sound too good to be true? Well, to be honest, I didn't believe it either. But I have kids in school and they were having a few grade problems of their own. So I decided to look into it myself and see if it really was true. Could a three-hour video really turn a D student into an A student? Well, the answer is yes. And in this program, you're going to hear students, parents, teachers, and other experts tell how and why this video is so effective. You'll hear why the seventh largest university in America has dropped their own in-house study skills program and replaced it exclusively with this one. Why one of the top Pac-10 universities has made it mandatory for all of their student athletes. Why one of America's leading middle schools has made it mandatory viewing for all of their 7th and 8th graders. And the incredible results one high school has seen with over 300 of their students viewing these tapes. So please, stay with us for the next 25 minutes. Because you're going to be amazed at the difference one three-hour seminar can make. Your child's entire future is affected by how well they do in school. And whether they're in grade school, high school, or college, I'm convinced that this seminar can make the single greatest impact on their education that will ever be made. Will your kids make the grade? With Michael Landon, focusing on helping your children 
achieve their full potential in school. Well, it's been three years since John Ritter first introduced where there's a will, there's an A. And over one million parents and grandparents have now given this educational advantage to their children and grandchildren. One million. That's more students than attended the 30 largest universities in America. Enough to fill the NFL's 15 largest football stadiums. The letters and stories that come back to us are borderline miraculous. High school students that were flunking out of school, becoming A students and being accepted into major universities. College students who'd been suspended because of bad grades, coming back to make the dean's list with straight A's. Dr. Philip Johnson is a counseling psychologist and academic counselor at Texas A&M, America's seventh largest university. In a recent interview, Dr. Johnston told why he thinks where there's a will, there's an A is so effective, and why they've dropped their own in-house study skills program and replaced it exclusively with where there's a will, there's an A. I think the seminar is very effective because it presents a lot of material in a very concise and accurate way. Uh, Dr. Only talks about the things that the students are needing to have in this competitive environment. We have over 40,000 students at Texas A&M, and so there's a lot of competition here. One of the things that Dr. Only does in his tape is uh, presents a lot of different techniques that the students can use very quickly. Uh, they can adopt them very rapidly, and so they find uh, very rapid results in what they do. For a number of years, we've had our own in-house academic skills program, but since using Where There's a Will, There's an A, it's become so popular with the students and the staff and I are so pleased with it, we've dropped our own in-house program and are now using Where There's a Will, There's an A exclusively. John Baxter is an assistant football coach at the University of Arizona. They've been using the seminar tapes with their athletes for over three years. The seminar was so effective with their football team that they've made it mandatory for all their student athletes in all sports. We've been using the tapes since 1988 or for the past three years, and the first year we bought the tapes to use with selected student athletes, student athletes having ac academic difficulty. Uh, that had a lot of success and that led to where the second year where we did the program with the entire football team. And in fact, we then recently expanded it to this last year where we did the program with all student athletes, all sport, the entire athletic department. Uh, we've had a great deal of academic success and we've attributed it to where there's a will, there's an A specifically. In fact, this past year, our freshmen made the highest GPA that they've ever made in the history of uh, since grade point average records have been kept. And when I went to the National Coaches Convention this last year, uh, there were 20 plus messages waiting for me there for not what are you doing on offense, what are you doing on defense, the new things in the kicking game, but geez, what are you doing academically? You hear statistics like these or numbers like one million students. And yet you only realize how truly incredible this is when you focus on individual students and see what a difference this seminar makes, not only in a student's education, but in their whole self-esteem. It literally can change the course of their lives. Tracy Eck and her roommate Mary Davis were close to flunking out of college when Tracy's mother gave her the tapes. I was gonna, I was gonna get kicked out of school that semester. But, you know, I'd gotten a letter in the mail saying, if you don't bring your grade point average up by May, then you'll be suspended from school. And I was just like, you know, I'm working so hard. I'm trying so hard for my grades, and I'm just not cutting it. I'm never going to make it. And I thought, what am I going to do if I don't, if I get kicked out of school? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? And my mom gave me the tapes, and I was really reluctant to listen to them. But I finally did. And I thought, well, this is my last chance. I got to do something. You know, I got to try and use these tapes. And so I listened to all the methods, and I applied them, and they worked. I mean, I seen results right away. I mean, I was getting A's, A's and B's, A's in classes that I'd never even dreamed I'd get A's in. And at the end of the semester, I came out with a free five, made the dean's list, and got off academic probation. So that was Thank great. Thank God, because you she couldn't have gotten off academic probation unless she made the dean's list. I mm -hmm. mean, she was finished. It was, if she, we hadn't got the tapes, Tracy would be finished. I was swinging really low. I was like, one five, one four. I mean, that's low. And that's so hard to get up. And I mean, I needed a three five to get out of it. And I knew I needed it. And I thought, oh God, how am I going to make a three five when 
I can't even make a, you know, a 2-5. How am I going to make a 3-5? But I did it. This is from a girl that made C's and D's all through high school. And first year of college, she made C's and D's. And now she's making A's and B's. It's just, it's just like a miracle. It's remarkable. I just can't. Everything changed. My study time was cut in half. I did better on tests. My term papers were better organized. I uh, was getting A's and B's on my term papers. It just changed my whole attitude, my whole outlook on studying. I felt better about myself, and I felt better about school. And that's better. That's a good feeling. It's changed my whole way. She told me about these tapes she got, and I was like, Tracy, they don't work. I, I was skeptical. I didn't believe her at all. She kind of made fun of me for listening to them in the first place, and I... I told her, I was like, Mary, use them. They worked. I mean, they helped me. And she made me listen to them, and I listened to them. And now I went from a 1.7 to a 3.25. I made the Dean's List for the first time. I got my first college A, as a matter of fact. And all the papers I write, I get A's on now. I got, I've gotten A on every paper. Many parents think that how well a child does in school is simply a matter of how smart they are. If they're real smart, they get A's. If they're not, they get lower grades. Dr. Beverly Durth, an educational psychologist, is a former superintendent of schools who is now a consultant to our nation's school districts and colleges. She quotes a study from Yale University that explodes this myth. Recently, a study was reported from Yale University that tells us that only about 5 to 25 percent of what children learn in school, their achievement, can be attributed to measures of ability. That leaves 75 percent or more of achievement unexplained. We know that we have better teachers. We really believe that. And we know we have better uh, teaching materials and curricula. And we know that we have more funding. And we know that we have more specialties and uh, more uh, help in all directions. Yet, we realize that our schools are at risk nationally. We're not doing very well as a nation. Something is missing. As we study this and look more closely, we begin to realize that what might be missing is the child himself. It's possible that we have to look at the child, look to the child, and teach him how to learn to learn. Uh, Dr. Olney and others are focusing on this, are making a contribution, because when children learn how to learn, then they can facilitate their own learning and become motivated by their successes. I think this is important for all children. We can't neglect it at any level. That begins with uh, young children, uh, children in elementary, uh, middle school, high school, and college. We must teach them to believe that they can learn. That's why I believe in Dr. Olney's tapes. They, they teach specific learning to learn strategies that students can apply in all the subject matter. And as students start to do this, and we've seen this happen, and start to succeed, they're motivated, and then they begin to believe in themselves, and their grades go up. That's why where there's a will, there's an A, is an effective tool for students, parents, and teachers, and everyone interested in education. So, according to Dr. Durth, the primary determining factor of how well children do in school is not their IQ, but rather how well they are able to learn. Unfortunately, teachers have their hands full just teaching their subjects, history, math, and so on. They usually can't focus on teaching kids how to learn more effectively. That's the key to the success of Professor Olney's seminar. That's why it works with students of all ages, IQs, and abilities. Dr. Olney recently gave a summary of what his seminars cover and why they are so effective. A question I'm often asked is why my techniques are so much more effective than those in other books and tapes on study skills. The answer is simple. Mine had to work. You see, because of my son's low high school grades, they were admitted conditionally to the university where I was teaching. That's when I decided I had to do something more than just tell them to study harder. So I developed these techniques, and my sons tried them. And in their first year of college, they received 16 A's between them and they both made the dean's list. My daughter in high school also tried these methods, and she went from average to honors. I developed three series of tapes, one for grade school, one for high school, and one for college. I direct the grade school version to parents to show them how to help their children break the math and science myth, how to develop learning styles, solve problems, improve reading skills, how to give their children techniques to become better spellers, 
and explain helping their children with learning disabilities. And I also give techniques for better writing and test taking. Now I direct the high school version to the high school student and I show the student how to take effective notes, reading techniques, methods to learn foreign languages, test taking skills, and memory techniques. I also show them how to do well on ACT and SAT exams. In addition to covering these areas, in the college version, I give more study techniques, and I also cover right and left brain techniques, how to choose courses and professors, how to study more effectively with a lot less effort, and how to do well on graduate admission exams. So the techniques work because they're simple, effective, easy to apply, and they save the student time and effort. We'll be right back. Teachers teach students their subjects, but they don't teach students how to study, memorize, take tests, write papers, or other learning techniques. Where there's a will, there's an A does. That's why so many students, parents, and educators have seen such a fast and significant improvement as a result of these tapes. Where There's a Will, There's an A is now available in three editions for college students, high school students, and grade school students. Each edition is available on two video cassettes or four audio cassettes and includes the seminar manual. In these seminars, students learn the most efficient and effective note-taking and study techniques, how to organize and write essays and term papers, how to become an expert test taker, how to increase their memory power, and much, much more. These effective techniques can be applied to every subject area. The video seminars are only three payments of $29.95 each, while the audio seminars are only three payments of $19.95 each. And all seminars come with a full money-back guarantee. Families ordering two or more sets will receive a 20% discount. Over one million parents have already given this incredible seminar to their children in grade school, high school, and college. And now you can give your children the same educational advantage, regardless of their age. Whether your child's an A student or a D student, these tapes will teach them how to learn more in less time, with less effort and stress. Here's how to order. Call toll-free 1-800-346-8900. Have your credit card available when you call. If you order two or more sets, you'll receive a 20% discount. The college and high school seminars are the perfect gift for any college or high school student. And Professor Olney's grade school seminar enables children in kindergarten through eighth grade to gain the benefit of these extremely effective and time-saving techniques during the foundational years of their education. So call now, 1-800-346-8900. 1-800-346-8900. And now we return to... Will your kids make the grade? Before Dr. Owens' tapes, I was getting mainly C's and D's, and I didn't even think I could get an A in high school. But now, after the tapes, I've been getting mainly A's and B's, and I even got an A in English. Josh never got good grades before, and I never could motivate him. And actually, I made him watch these tapes. He, he didn't want to watch the tapes, and I made him watch them. And I can't even believe the difference. It totally changed his whole motivation and his whole attitude towards learning. He's gone from C's and D's to A's and B's, which is way more than I ever expected. Before I took Dr. Olney's seminar, I had a 1.7 GPA, and I realized something needed to change. And after taking his seminar, I learned that I could get A's. As a matter of fact, I got straight A's of 4.0. I could not get good grades in high school. My friends were all doing it, and I just could not do it. And the more I studied, the more, the more my grades were getting worse. And after I saw the tapes, I viewed them, and after I saw the tapes, um, my grades improved right away. I was getting C and maybe a D, and they went right up to A's and B's. And it was, I went from approximately a 2.4 to a 3.5. My parents got the tapes from my brother and sister in high school, and I had a chance to listen to them. I used only a few of the techniques, and my grades went from mostly Bs and Cs to straight A's in one semester. Brenda Cord is the vice principal of one of America's leading public high schools. They've had over 300 students view the tapes with incredible results. Over 380 students at Saguaro High School have seen the tapes, where there's a will, there's an A. 
was first introduced to us by one of our social studies teachers. After having shown the tapes in her classroom, she saw the students' grades rise significantly. Students who had performed D work were now performing B work, and her C students had become A students. The word spread rapidly on campus and is now being used also in our reading program. We can cite specific examples of students who had as low as a 1.8 grade point average and raised those grades to a 3.4 in less than a semester's time. We've even seen students who have a tendency to not be motivated after having viewed the tapes, seen their grades rise, and that in turn has provided them with the motivation to achieve at a higher level of performance. Randolph Middle School is one of New Jersey's leading public middle schools. In two years, they've shown it to over 1,000 of their students. It's been so effective, they've now made it mandatory for all of their 7th and 8th grade classes. For the past 20 